Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Halloween is coming up this Saturday, so I'm going to review a holiday classic, which is right here on this Blu-ray set, which is the Peanuts Deluxe Holiday Collection. Yep, which has all three of the holidays on side. And I'm going to review the, the holiday classic, which happens to be the third animated special. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yep. Which stars our voice actors Christopher Shea as Linus Van Pelt, Peter Robbins as Charlie Brown, Gail DeFara as Pigpen, Sally Dreyer as Lucy, Glenn Mendelson as Schroeder, Kathy Steinberg as Sally Brown, and Otiri as Violet and Frida, Lisa DeFara as Patty, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy, which is written and created by Charles M. Schultz and is directed by Bill Melendez. This is, of course, the Blu ray that came in that collection, which is right here. It has both the DVD and Blu-ray inside. Yeah, they both are very identical to each other. So, <laughs> so now you know the difference. So let's get right to it. The special begins set in the autumn as the Peanuts game were preparing for Halloween, especially at the beginning where Linus and Lucy were already at the pumpkin patch just to get a huge big pumpkin and was ready to actually do a pumpkin cutout and this is when Linus was saying oh you didn't tell me you were gonna kill it oh yeah he was shocked and horror after seeing that <laughs> like <laughs> like the pumpkin's gonna be in pain yeah anyway with the penis game already preparing Linus Van Pelt decided to write an annual letter for the great pumpkin yep a character that's similar to Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny where they come around you know, during Halloween night just to bring in a patch full of goodies just to give to all the little children out there. You know. But unfortunately, despite of what Charlie Brown's disbelief, you know, along with Snoopy's laughter, Patty's insurance that, that indeed the Great Pumpkin is a fake. But, of course, Linus doesn't believe in all of that, so... He thought that the whole thing is true. Yeah, even worse, Lucy even tries to threaten him, making her brother to stop. So then, the next day, Linus goes out to mail the letter anyway, but of course he couldn't reach the mailbox, so he just used his trusty blanket to open it. So, with Lucy refusing to help. Anyway, on Halloween night, the gang, including Charlie Brown and his younger sister Sally, goes out for trick-or-treating, but on the way they stop at the pumpkin patch to reocclude Linus by missing all the festivities, just like he did last year and the year before that. But then as a result, Sally decided to stay with Linus just to see if, if it proves that the great pumpkin is going to come. So then, during trick-or-treating, the kids receive a sort of candy, apple, gums, cookies, money, and popcorn balls. Yeah, all except Charlie Brown, because they wound up getting a bag full of rocks. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were all dressed up in costumes like the witch and ghosts all the way around. Of course, Charlie Brown did have trouble with the scissors, so yeah. And actually, this is interesting too, because um, Charles M. Schultz actually was planning on the, the special that were... Every time Charlie Brown repeats the line, I got a rock, it caused many viewers who have seen this originally to uh, actually bring in bags and boxes of candy from all over the world, you know, just for Charlie Brown alone. So that's like, wow, this is really something. After giving him rocks, though, yeah, I agree. I mean, he really does deserve all the candy he wants. I mean, that's, that's just not fair. After that, uh, Snoopy was wearing his World War I flying ace costume, who climbs aboard on, on his way to his doghouse, imagining that 
he's actually on a Sofrith Campbell fighter plane. Yeah, already fighting with the Red Baron. Yep, that's probably the most memorable scene as you may have seen in every single special out there. And of course, even the Charlie Brown Snoopy show for that matter. And all the comics too, not to mention. So then, already fears that he lost the battle. Snoopy makes his way across the countryside to briefly crash into the Halloween party where he is entertained by Schroeder by playing the World War I tune on his piano. Then he goes to the pumpkin patch where once again Linus and, and Sally were staying over still you know, waiting for it to come. That is until Linus spotted a shadowy figure hoping that it might be the Great Pumpkin when in reality it's just Snoopy. So that alone causes Sally to be completely upset. So already since Sally just missed the whole thing, the entire Halloween party all the way around. And and of course Linus is just staying up all night, still waiting for it. That is until four o'clock in the morning on November first, only to find out that you know Linus is still up on the pumpkin patch, you know, freezing to death. So Lucy decided to take him all the way back to his uh, bedroom so he can fall asleep. Later on, Charlie Brown and Linus are leaning against the wall, you know, talking about what was going on during the night, you know, because they, they were having completely disappointments. Charlie Brown attempts to console his friend, admitting to himself that he has done some stupid things too in his life that way Linus doesn't feel bad but of course you know he just sets off an angry rant thinking that this time they will come back or what seems to be I mean yeah and then the special ends but it, it, it was a fun uh, Halloween special and I really enjoyed it too I mean I, I knew exactly what was going to happen about what was it like if the great Puckin did come, then yes, maybe they'll, they'll finally get their answer straight. But of course, they knew that uh, Linus was just making it up, and this whole thing never did happen. So that's what leads to a lot of problems right there. Kind of feel sorry for Sally, though, having to miss all the fun and trick or treating and everything, because, yeah, if, if I were her, I would just do it anyway. But, you know, Linus could have had done something, so that was a problem. But, of course, he, even, you know, Lucy and, and the rest of the game were complete jerks, too. I mean, they always had to keep treating Charlie Brown like that. Especially the scene where, you know, he had to model his head so that way they can create the, the pumpkin by making the pumpkin face. Yeah, you can even tell he was upset. And, and worse, he doesn't even get all the candy he wants. He just gets rocks. Yeah. I got a rock! <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Yeah, a lot of bad things always happen to him. Also, during its airing on CBS, their sponsors, of course, was by Coca-Cola and Dolly Madison Cakes. Which, unfortunately, um, the only way you can see those is having to find them on YouTube or so, if they exist, because... They're so rare to having to see all these sponsorships that they use for CBS when when this special first aired. I mean, it's always interesting to see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, because unfortunately the whole thing was edited out on VHS, DVDs, and Blu-rays of all these specials. Although, though some of the specials are not on Blu-ray yet, but they're going to get to that. So, But either way, it's it's always nice to see them. Um, we had to find them online. But you know, when they play this on ABC and sometimes CBS too, because they originally aired it at the time, they always had to play them completely edited. I mean, I'm just glad that I own the Blu-ray because at least we get to see them uncut the way it's meant to be. I also have this on VHS as well, as opposed to the DVD, which is included. But they always keep... Um, doing this in order to have longer commercial breaks and even worse because they had to do another special altogether 
So they had to keep cutting some of the scenes, such as you know Charlie Brown shaking his fist at Linus after he jumps into a pile of leaves, you know, with a wax sucker. <laughs> yeah, because I remember, you know, Linus was doing that. Yep, and there was another scene that that's always memorable too was when Lucy pleaded Charlie Brown to kick the football, just like all the other specials follow, and pull it away like like she always does. And they've been doing that since the comic strips. Yeah, that's been cut in in the ABC broadcast. And of course, Snoopy in the World War One Flying Ace, Poppy Schroeder to play World War One era songs in the mix, so so that is kind of a shame that all three of these scenes were cut, you know, during an airing, you know, be, just before uh, Toy Story uh, of Terror was going to air after that. But I know they're going to air it again, you know, only this time I think they will be able to keep all three of them intact. But otherwise, that's okay. I mean, we're just glad we have them on DVD because those are the three memorable scenes that should always be intact. And I always remember them too. And yeah, they, they had a lot of great music, all done by Ben Scaraldi. Yep, he has, once again, he just uses his instrumental Minus and Lucy theme. And he also added some more themes that, that they just use. Everything from the Jack O' Lantern that they had to create. Yeah, Linus mailing the letter to the Green Pumpkin. And all the other scenes that fall. I mean, everything that was all done by. Um, Ben Scaraldi himself. Um, I, I I always love the theme songs like, you know, like Breathless, the Graveyard theme, the, the Trick or Treat, and of course the Red Baron and all the fanfare that went into it. It, it just works. I mean, it, it's definitely the best. But the main reason why they did do the special was because after the success with a Charlie Brown Christmas. Because they were doing another special too after that called uh, Charlie Brown's All Stars, where they focused on you know Charlie Brown and the rest of the Penis Gang, you know, just playing baseball, and they're trying to win the next season or so, and they're trying but they keep losing. They knew they wanted to do another special because you know already they were afraid that you know after their success with. Uh, a, a Charlie Brown Christmas because I know they were afraid you know from the critics because they didn't want to do it at first after what happened they thought it'd be okay to have another special to actually uh, be part of it so that way they they probably earn more viewers than ever since you know the millions of viewers had love a Charlie Brown Christmas and the last one Charlie Brown's All-Stars so they figured why not Yep, and the documentary that they had on the Blu-ray was called We Need a Brockbuster, so that way they'll be able to have as many specials to follow. And they've been doing it since the 60s. But anyway, um, I recommend um, It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, for Halloween, because it's the perfect special to watch. So anyway, I give that special five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.